If you are going to be a bride soon or know of someone who is getting prepared for their big day, here are five life-changing skincare tips on your wedding day to keep your makeup looking flawless. Hi everyone, it's Smita. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you five incredible do's and don'ts of skin prep before your makeup on your wedding day. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> On my right side, I'm going to be showing you all the do's and on my left side, I'm going to be showing you all the don'ts, the stuff that you have to avoid. Starting with tip number one, skin prep on your wedding day is very different from your regular seven or 10 step skincare regimen. What you're not going to be doing on your wedding day before your makeup is applying layers of moisturizers and eye creams and serums because all these layers underneath your foundation will make your foundation move, which will make your overall look very patchy. The key is to layer as less as possible with extremely hydrating products. Instead of using too many layers and thick products, use a very thin layer of a hydrating moisturizer. The one that I'll be using is the Clinique Moisture Surge, which has been my favorite to use on brides over the years. I love the way it preps the skin before makeup. It is extremely lightweight and works on every skin type, including extra sensitive skin. I'm going to use just enough so I can apply it on my face and the skin can quickly absorb everything and give that plumpness. I also like to press it in till the skin completely absorbs it and there's nothing sitting on the top surface which can make other products slide. Tip number two is to use an eye cream underneath your eye that doesn't make your eyes water. I'm using the Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Eye Zone Treatment that you can use all around your eyes without worrying about your eyes getting sensitive or watery. Never ever try a new product on your wedding day. Make sure you've tried it before. I like to take it with my ring finger and dab it around my eyes very gently and also in the outer corner to cover any crow's feet. Applying an eye cream will help the concealer settle seamlessly underneath the eyes without looking patchy. On the same note, I also use a lip balm to keep my lips hydrated before applying lipstick. So if your skin prep before makeup is so simple, when do you actually do the proper skincare regimen? So that calls for tip number three, make sure to do an intense skincare regimen the day before. On the day before your wedding, your skin should focus on delivering layers of hydration and soothing ingredients to your complexion. The ideal base for wedding makeup is calm, moisturized and a firm, plump skin. That way you can focus on enhancing your natural glow the next day before your wedding. For the night before your wedding, I always recommend the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. There is something about this formula that leaves your skin so cushiony and plump for the next day. Tip number four, which will come as a surprise to many of you, I'm sure, is to avoid using sunscreen before makeup on your wedding day. Believe it or not, sunscreen is guaranteed to give you flashbacks. So if you want to avoid looking ashy in the much anticipated wedding pictures and videos, avoid using sunscreen before your makeup. As much as I love sunscreen and I use it every single day, it's a big no for special occasions for me. And then we have tip number five. Wait for your moisturizer to be completely absorbed in your skin before you use a hydrating, gripping primer. Again, I repeat, it has to be gripping. My favorite and go-to for my brides is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. The reason I love this is because it fills in all your pores, all your fine lines, and it's hydrating and it smooths out your skin. With that, it becomes tacky. It becomes very sticky on your skin. Not that uncomfortable sticky, but a tacky layer on your skin. So anything you apply over this is going to cling on to your skin and become super long lasting, which is precisely what we need with our makeup on our wedding day. Let me demonstrate with this brush and as you can see, I literally meant when I said you can stick anything over this and it's not going to move. 
And now imagine applying all that makeup over this. You might be sweating. You might be tearing up because everybody gets emotional during wedding. You might have oily skin. No matter what, your makeup is not going to move. On my right side is where we did the right skincare and skin prep. And as you can see, the foundation is gliding smoothly and beautifully. And when that happens, even when you look at your skin up close, it's going to look very close to your natural skin. But of course, it'll cover up all the imperfections. So it's going to look like a better version of your skin without caking up. Now, when I apply the same foundation to the other side, you can immediately see it starts spilling. That's because we've applied too many layers, which is precisely what we want to avoid on the big day. And it's also going to give me flashbacks because I've applied sunscreen. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where I'm going to be showing you a stunning bridal glam over the right skin prep. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what came as a surprise and which of these steps do you already follow by commenting below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Thank you.